he thinks he should get a win over over Marco. Well, darts is a funny old game. It doesn't always happen like that. Um, you still have to go up there and do a professional job. Sick. At this moment in time, Willie's well, well, struggling a little bit. The, the averages speak for themselves. It's not an, an outstanding game. I think this is just going to be a battle now, unless one of them gets their scoring boots on and starts oh, finishing. Hey! As we see our first 180 of the match, Dan, that hey. might kick William O'Connor to another level. I think that might light the fuse in Willie O'Connor. But I think you're, you're right in your assessment because, you know, Safety. not Ready wanting to disrespect Marco, this was probably a good draw for Willie O'Connor, but with that comes the pressure of being the favourite. Got options here, goes for 14. Now double 16. Yeah, and that's, that's another play. break of throw. Yeah, and that's a quality leg of darts Tonight, from Willie O'Connor. Yeah, scoring-wise, Cantelow has shown up a little bit more in the last few legs. 100. Marquee require 161. Well, both on a, albeit a very high checkout after nine darts. Uh, Trevor 20 here, put the pressure on. 97. Plus little 97, 64, two darter. What sort of pressure can Willie apply here now? Well, he wanted to go for two treble 19s. That's usually the route six players go four. for 164. You require six four. You're aiming at the same target. Treble 8 or treble 16. It's treble 16. A double 8. 48. Will he require all Just wonder whether the flight of that first start maybe blocked his view slightly. Double ten. Yeah, on the Great darts from O'Connor. Interspersed with some scruffy darts from the pair of them. Nothing scruffy about this. 180 number four for Willie. 80. I was just about to say, he needs to find a treble, which he duly has. Give yourself an opportunity if Willie doesn't take this out. Ross for treble 13. Double 16 for the victory. 105. Well, it was an accidental bullseye first up, but he switched across to the 13s really well. Millimetres away from the double 16. Cantela can still finish this. Well, he could if he'd hit the treble 17. 44. Will he require 16? So for a 6-3 victory, and the first winner of this year's European Darts Open. Yeah, and Willie sure. O'Connor takes the chance. But he looks a bit more at it here. He's one of those guys, Dan, isn't he, that... When he's in this sort of form, he's a joy to watch because he does make it look so easy. And when he when he burst onto the scene, he played in the Worlds, I think his world, first Worlds was about four years ago, five years ago. Um, I think we thought big things of him. I thought he's going to really push on here. Well, that's a 12 data. He's getting better as this game goes on, Ryan Joyce. But right now, Rob Cross isn't playing like he was last year. So maybe Ryan Joyce will fancy having a, another crack at him. That is not just a Pokemon fan. That is a fan of Ricardo Pietrechko. German talent you'll see this afternoon. It's a good game, that Pietrechko. Really rapidly improving play. Another there. No, he moved over to leave double 18. Good. And that is a beauty from Jermaine Watamona. I know we say it every time, Dan, but it all comes back to what happened in the back room before the match. The standing there and the going up for the ball. Ryan Joyce has got the comfort of a break of the throw. I'm not saying you can sit back on that, but he's got the break of throw, which puts him in a very commanding position. Hang about. Hang about, though, because Jermaine Watamena has 
just started with six perfect darts. We hadn't seen a nine darter on the Pro Tour this year until last weekend in Hildesheim when Brendan Dolan hit one on the oh, Sunday. Willie O'Connor hit one on the Monday. Jermaine Watamona. Oh, he's not going to hit one in this leg. Seven perfect darts for Jermaine. And it's a brilliant setup shot. He is on a, he is on a ten darter, but Ryan Joyce could yet win the leg. Not going to happen. Fifty-eight. Jermaine Uruguay, thirty-two. Good. That is a ten darts leg. Up to his average. Start scoring heavy. Start taking out the shots. Ninety. Well, he may have to take out one eleven. What kind of pressure is he going to be under? Needs a treble. One hundred. Jermaine Uruguay, one hundred and eleven. Similar shots. Jermaine will not take the 111. Yeah, Ryan Joyce, can he produce his first ton plus check out of the Ryan match? His highest finish so far, 87. If he takes this, it's game over. And it's another great first dart. 53 left. Double 18. Oh, Ryan Joyce misses a match dart. Does that mean we're going the distance? Double top says we are. And Jermaine Watamena has missed the opportunity, and surely Ryan Joyce, Ryan, he's required, not been that reliable 36. on the doubles, but he's hitting one in three. He's got three more chances to wrap it up. Game and shot. wrap it up he does. A 16 data gives Ryan Joyce his first win on the European Tour this year. And me and uh, Jaws were talking in the first game that 96. Lennon probably Zero won't be playing for Ireland in the World Cup this year because Keane Barry's overtaking him in the rankings. So that'll be another sore point for Steve. Unless he can turn things around before June. But that's asking quite a lot considering his lack of Euro Tour action. This would hurt him. There's an argument for staying there. But he goes to the 18s, hits it for double 16. Seven just people. misses outside. Steve Brendan Dolan 64. this time first to a double, but may end up losing the leg. 16 for double. <laughs> Not that double. 48. Brendan, you require 32. Well, it was a well thrown dart, but just north of the target where he wanted it. What a guide. Yeah, Steve used it expertly. It is 3-0, Brendan Who Dolan. It's a more conventional setup that Steve Lennon operates 95. with. 95, Brendan, you require 134. Well, right now, Steve Lennon has just got to hope and pray that Brendan Dolan doesn't take this out. Is it two tops? Oh, it was. But makes a sensible people. play with that last dart. Steve Didn't get the treble, but went for it. Yeah, he was aggressive with that first attempt at tops. 18 for Bull. <laughs> oh. Well, all those missed darts at double. And the one at the smallest target on the board, he hits dead centre. We know work on Saturday for Steve Lennon at this rate. One hundred and twenty seven. Right, I've got the director in my ear saying, say that you they want to be here. Yeah, be get it, because bit yeah, they I'm not gonna say it because it's lame. We can think of our own puns, thank you very much. Yeah, sadly, and they're worse than that. Look at that, 71. all around the board, the Steve horse 100. from Brendan Dolan to leave himself on double 12. He could still go for Steve Lennon, though, can't get treble 15. And is this going to be the first leg where Lennon doesn't 79. get darts to win it? Brendan, you require 24. Well, unless Dolan has a bit of a mare on double 12, you would think so. He's no mare whatsoever, Brendan, Brendan Dolan. 
But then again, we've already covered that Brendan's pretty mustard on the old Euro Tour qualifiers this year. 136. Brendan, you require 120. 120 would be a mustard way to end the game. Oh, that's a good dart. The tops. 80. Thought that was going to nestle in. 107. Brendan has been hitting doubles more than he's been missing him in this game. Steve Lennon, you cannot say the same. How confident are you that this is going to go? Double 16. 75. The same thing happens. He is one out Brendan of nine Nirvana on the doubles. 40. And Brendan Dolan to wrap up a 6-1 victory, which looks a lot more convincing than it actually has been. That was an unconvincing dart. And that one might make things a little bit awkward. Of course it doesn't. 6-1 up to Brendan Dolan. Be very, very hard to reel him back in. Or is it? 139. Well, I was going to make the point that Bradley needs to up the scoring, and these two visits show he's done just that. He's still only averaging around about the 85 mark. 140. 11 points lower than Christoph right now. But he's finding his range. 170. What a visit from Bradley Brooks to lead 65 after nine. Nothing wrong with his scoring now. This would hurt, though. And how quickly a darts match can change because Bradley Brooks 65. could break the throw and be one behind. Two at top. Bradley Brooks. Ninety-four. Yeah, good switch there from Christoph. Leave yourself Shanghai in the twenties. Simpler finish of the hundred plus finishes. All standing in around the same area. Ninety-nine. Christoph one hundred and twenty. Brooks leaves himself a two darter. So one twenty has to sneak that in underneath. Doesn't manage to do it. Fifty-six. Bradley required 90. Well, Christoph Ratajski and double 16 are usually best friends, hence why he decided to switch. This is risky business from Brooks. Whoa. Oh, what a dart that was. Bradley Brooks. You can only see yeah, half Christoph. of it. You know, you take control, you take control of that leg and ultimately match. He's reached round two in his last three Euro tours as Bradley Brooks. Played in the Baltic Sea Darts Open last month. Beat Josh Payne in round one before going down to Damon Hetter. 58. He's done for 124. Nice a long way ahead in this leg. Double eight needed. 116. Well, I mean, Brooks is so far back, he's probably got to hit a maximum to really put pressure on. It wouldn't be that much pressure as it is. 47. Result for you require eight. He's focusing on the next leg now. Are you shot a ninth leg? Yeah, well played from Matthias. He'd have gone inside Rundberg. then. There would have been a definite argument for busting. I think he'll be more than happy with that, though. What sort of pressure is the 48 going to be under? He's going to fill this. 140. It's over here at Similar visits from both players in this leg, but it's Ratajski that will get the first poke for a 6 5 win. Up for double eight. And he can't pin it. Well, Bradley Brooks has consistently Bradley had the lower average in this game. 52. And yet he could go and nick it. That could be awkward. 20. Oh. Bradley Brooks can't take his opportunity. Crystal Fury requires 16. Rueful grin on the face of young Bradley Brooks. Finish line itis. No score. 
Well, I think Brooks was resigned to defeat Three then. Fires, 32. Across for double four. 24. I don't know about you, Colin, but I Crystal, think those darts were rushed. You require 16. Yeah, he should have just stopped and given himself a little breather there. But sometimes you just can't help it. You just want to go up there, try and hit the double and get it over and done with. Double four now for Christoph. Okay. To yeah. finally get over and the line. That's the worst leg of the match was saved for the last. Yeah, not needing to go to the 12 segment. He didn't want the 15 segment, but another one. Oh, oh okay, yeah, leaves tops. He does like double top. Youngsters are today, Dan. They always in a hurry. Always in a hurry. Yeah, take a leaf out of Jaws' book. Just chill out, guys. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> Colin Lloyd, a man who famously punched a dartboard and took his top off on the World Championship stage, telling people to chill, to chill. Double ten. Double five. Four. All around the board he goes. Got him with 120. Well, if he takes this out, Dan, this will really, really hurt. Yeah, and then says... And this, the, I said it before in an earlier match, this is the simpler of the 100 plus finishes because you stay in the same area. Oh, well, he's going to get a dart at tops. Good. Oh, my. Well, oh, the first dart was nowhere near its intended target. His last three legs down are 12, 15, 14. That, that's championship darts. That, that's good darts. And that's enough to put anyone on the back foot and get you results. Loose Leaves one switch there. here. Yeah, quick look at the scoreboard. A single 20 would be no good to him, leave a bogey number. 80. So the 19s does the job, but Nenchez looking to stop the rot here. Awkward. Oh, what a dart that is. 80. Ricardo, you require 170. Well, we've already seen checkouts of 87, 120 and 61 at crucial moments, Dan, from Ricardo. Dare I say it, can he take out a 170? Maybe. Could be. Good. Yes, he can! Pikachu! I won 170 checkout! You don't have that buzz. You don't have that adrenaline wave that you have to ride. But look how he's riding it. Back-to-back ton 40s. He now leaves 160. And he's already taken out the 170 and a 120. Do you know, Dan, the four the shots that he's taken out that I mentioned of 87, 120, 161, and that beautiful big fish, they were all at crucial moments in that leg where if he hadn't have taken those shots out, it let Gert Nenches back in to perhaps mop up the leg. But he took the shots out, that's all that matters. Crucial finishing, great stuff from Ricardo. Another in there leaves double six. Double six it is. Good. And Hurt Nenches comes to the party with a big finish. Well, there's been some spectacular stuff in this match. I say games, we've seen a game. I thought he was eyeing up the bullseye for a second there. <laughs> but he should take a big old chunk out of this. I thought he might go 90. for the double to leave the double. He tried that Eight earlier on. He's a maverick, this lad. Slightly Jose. He was stranded on 60 in the last 42. leg, didn't get a look at it. Got this time, Kent Nenchez cannot stop him. Is it going to be Ricardo Pietrezco's first win on the Euro Tour as a tour card holder? Double top. Where's he looking? To the right. So he was. Okay, you require 108. Well, the chance goes immediately with a dart into the fives. And Pierre Trechko oh, gets more match darts. We saw five match darts oh, missed by Bradley Brooks in the last game. Pierre Trechko, well, he's got such a buffer, you think he's going to win this game at some point, but if he doesn't get it won in this visit, it's still alive. 
He does get the job done. Ricardo Piotrecco with a magnificent display of finishing. Well, you know the old adage is trebles for show, doubles for dough. Rennie Adams finishing percentage, 66%, two out of three. But if you're not if giving you're not. yourself a chance to get to those doubles, it means nout. Exactly. You're going to end up with 100% on your doubles, but if you only get five chances, you're going to lose. 108. And again, Jürgen van der Velde is outscoring his opponent. That's the first 180 of the game. Oh, that's a valuable yeah, last start. 61. Two at double 18. Yeah, so Only needs one. That's more like it from Yeah, yeah. That's a 14 darter. Another Euro Tour debutant. Double 16 for a 106. 74. Not quite. But again, Jürgen van der Velde knows he's going to get more chances. Because Rene Idems. 99. He still yeah, only had two, two treble visits and we're in the seventh leg. That's not going to be enough. 28. On this occasion, Jürgen doesn't take his chance. 20 for tops. Yeah. Oh, that's that's really play. nicely done yeah. from Rennie yeah. Idems. To doing what he was doing earlier. To be fair, he's probably after going to be a little bit better because Rene is improving. 100. And maybe what he was doing earlier that put him 4 2 up won't be enough. He might have to find more, and that's a big ask. He's trying. And he's found a second 180. It could be vital. That's timing for you. But a treble, oh, a treble would have left tops. 58. Yeah, he decided to attack the 20s rather than the 18s, which is a bit of a baffling choice. One that might not matter to go within a leg. 25. Yeah, you cannot do it. 58. 18 for tops to go into the lead. Double 10. Yeah. And Rennie yeah. Idens leads for the first time. It must be a very, very difficult place to be if you're Jürgen van der Velde right now. You've led all the way through this game. You missed four darts for 5-2, and your first win in the European Tour on your debut was right there for the taking. But Idems has raised his level. Not a dramatic amount, but he's not. And he's done it in the right part of the game as well. Sprinting for the finish line. Jürgen limping. Well, he'd only hit two, two treble visits in the first five or six legs of this match. He's hit a further five since. Oh, and Jürgen van der Velde, those were thrown in the manner of a man who feels that the game is up. Is the game up? Yes, it is. Rene Idems, our second German winner of the day, beats his chest. 75% on the doubles. Because um, it's just not happening for me anymore. Um, only Jose can can do that, and only he can find the solution. 180. Racking setup from Everts to leave double 16. Oh, for a break of throw, double 12. 80. Ted, you require 32. Well, for well, Ted Everts to establish a three-leg lead. Inside, not that far inside. He's got to go to double eight now. He's on the third leg. Great Ted dart Everts. from Ted Everts. He's in three of the first eight. He needs to try and make this one count. <laughs> Two for tops. 62. Ted, you require well, it's an opening for Ted. It's a big inner, it's 111, but we've seen plenty of big finishes go today, including the big fish. We'll be looking for a treble 20 for double 16. Well, there's a treble 20, Dan, double 16. Yeah, he's for a 4 0 lead. Seven. Ted Evans taking complete control of this match. Ted. You know, you game again, and you feel for him. You know, a lot of us have already been through it.
And you're hoping there's going to be a change, but like I said, only he can find that. And when someone like Nine young Ted Evans, because he's still only a youngster, he's Ted. You know, he's still got that bit between his toes. He still feels as though he's got a point to prove in the world of darts. Well, that could try and maybe spark Jose into life again. Second 180 of the game. The 14 darter could be on for Ted. Double five. And it is five. This is a very, very solid, accomplished performance from Ted Everts here. 93. Turning the screw every chance he gets. Sitting on 134 now after nine darts. He'll be thinking to himself, either punch a hole in this to leave myself an opportunity if I can get it, or the way he's been playing, maybe he can take this out. Second punch on plus checkout, perhaps. Well, it's not going to go. Double 19 will leave tops. 56. Does he require 100? Well, every comeback has to start somewhere. You know, he's going tops, tops. 40. Oh, dear. Ted, do you require 70? Well, that dart signaled to me that he's admitted defeat. I have no words. <laughs> I have, but I'm not going to yeah, say it. Probably best we <laughs> don't say anything. <laughs> Match dart then for Ted Everts. With a chance to face Dirk Van Dijvenbode yeah, yeah. on Saturday, he takes it. And the match, And that was a proper display from Ted Everts. Well, we've already seen the big fish today once, Dan. Will we be treated to it again? And we had it missed as well, Jermaine, what I mean, and missed the bullseye yeah, for and it. And he required 170. A leg very much in the balance. Oh, just couldn't quite force another one in there. But he takes a sizable chunk out of it. Trouble 19 or 15. Gets the 19s, double 12. Biggest check out of the match so far. 101 for Luke Woodhouse. Keeps hold of his throw. Yeah, those two games I'm looking forward to. Dan Florian, Hempel, James Way, Stephen Bunting, Daryl Gurney. Looking forward to that. Well, the fans are on their feet. They've had a good one this afternoon. Nice mix of stuff. A surprising. 6 0 battering of Jose de Souza. Courtesy of Ted Everts. Is this a way back for Andy Bolton? It might be on the bullseye. Oh. 142. Great Three effort. 90. Great, great effort. Gets the trouble 15 to leave double top. Giving himself a moment here, Luke Woodhouse. Will it pay dividends? Nerves. No hey, nerves at all. Play. What a dart that is from Luke Woodhouse. And then go full attack with his throw on the next leg. How does that work? As a I mean, you're trying every single visit, aren't you? The, the, the player I think of is James Wade. He seems to turn his intensity on and off like a tap. You'll see him just give up on legs. And then, lo and behold, he kicks off the next 59. leg, 140 or 180, because he and just seems to be able to switch on and switch off. Yeah, it's all about having that mindset, Dan. You know, you sort of look, you've lost interest in that leg. That's as we leg. see Andy Bolt there. Andy Bolt. Check out a nice little 101 there. The 91 would have... Left him the 170. Which is an easier so. shot than 167, is it not? Well, yeah, because you're staying in the same area. You go in two trouble 20s and then just drop it down from the ball, whereas now he's got to go up, down, up. Well, he doesn't need to take this out anyway. Still want to find a red bit. Good Ooh, last 100. dart. Good solid last dart. Giving himself an opportunity if Luke hits a big shot here to 
to South a finish. Well, it is a big shot, and Andy Bolton Andy may only get one dart 67. here. If he does only get one dart, it may have to go. He gets two, double eight. Andy Bolton is favourite to win the game. Andy Bolton. And you get some sort of indignant sense of, well, there's no point. And he's stuck at it, and he's turned this around. And he should get matched arts from here. So I'll say since about the second leg, then Andy's average hasn't 14. dropped below 95, Andy 96. And he's up at the high 90s now, 99. And with a chance to win this match. Ooh, well, that's an annoying dart. 65. And that leaves him what can be an awkward 20 for tops. Luke Woodhouse. Hang about. That just keeps things interesting, you know, because he's going to block a portion of this bed, I think. He's not moving. He doesn't need to. Andy Bolton turns it around, wins the last three legs for his first victory over Luke Woodhouse for eight years.